Don't even need it. Hey everyone, Alex Tivoli from Detroit Speed. It's been a while since we've done a project update video. Things have been hectic around here. We've been extremely busy, but we have a very exciting project to show you today. We just got a 1970 Chevelle in here for one of our customers, Simon. This is a barn find, I guess you should, you, I guess we would call it a barn find, because yeah, it's... It was more of a shed find, but yeah. Shed find, barn find, whatever you want to call it, but it says barn find, $30,000. Not true. Didn't get anywhere near that. No lowballers, though. Did, did we lowball it? No, I mean, we got it for a really fair price, considering, you know, it's it's pretty much mostly original. Original big block, automatic car. Uh, you know, it's everything's intact. This thing's never really been, like, hot rod or anything. You can see it had one repaint on it at some point in its life. Yeah. Man, all the trim looks original. Bumpers. You know, there's no replacement panels. A little dent in the quarter panel, but man, it's a overall it's a super solid car. That's not. Yeah, it's kind of deep. <laughs> uh, I think I don't know. We can probably get into the backside and get this hammered back out. And yeah, and smooth it up. Not have to replace the quarter. So hopefully, it should be really minimal uh, sheet metal work on this car. We did yeah. do it. It had a little bit of rust repair done right here, but you know, if we just get into patching the lower quarters, that's not a big deal at all. The big thing about this car, I feel extremely bad about it now. We just fired it up with starting fluid and it started sucking fuel through the system and it ran great. And I didn't film any of it. And I, uh, I think so, sorry. Well, I, I, I yeah, I regret that. But um, yeah, for a, a barn find 70 Chevelle, I mean, it took us a couple tries, but once it got running, it, it stayed running on its own and it smoked but it's probably been sitting for an extremely long time oh, yeah, so no uh we we actually bought this from somebody we know locally and and prior to him uh a woman had owned this for i think 30 years or so it's got an inspection sticker here on the windshield yeah last time i was registered was, 92 yeah so red it, this car came from north carolina too so assuming it's been in north carolina its whole life yeah, it's pretty bad it's i mean it's got your typical barn fine stuff it's dusty dirty moldy but it's all here it's, it's yeah solid. everything's there i mean all this stuff will it'll clean up really well but at the same respect i mean we won't use too much of it yeah i mean so we are going to go back uh big block automatic mm -hmm. uh we're gonna do it'll be a 540 inch big yeah block. and that's uh greg from hammerheads building that engine yeah, yeah. so uh this one's gonna be you know it's gonna be more more of your straightforward uh you know build for us we're gonna retain a lot of the original original styling a lot of the exterior trim the bumpers you know all that yeah. stuff we're gonna put back just like it was so uh we'll update the interior a little bit you know obviously like automatic will probably be a 4l80 or something like that okay uh we'll do a we'll do a holly fuel injection on the big block so it'll be a It'll be a modernized 70 Chevelle. Well, let's see if we can get it to run again. Don't even need it. I mean, it sounds like it's firing on all eight too. Yeah, Maybe yeah, it well, might be might be missing on one hole, but I mean, we know it goes into gear, so let's see. <laughs> we 
We don't need brakes where we're going. Yeah. No. <laughs> Gotta tighten up the converter, I think we'll be good. There's no telling how old that fuel is, oh, yeah, no <laughs> but I mean it's it's running on its own. It's it's running pretty well too. It did have oil in it though, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. See, so, yeah, like Matt said, we're gonna be swapping a, another big block into it. Mark had told Greg no less than 700 horsepower. Yeah. So it'll be uh, it'll be stout, and we actually we had a rendering done of the car so we'll go ahead and cut that in right now so you guys can check it out our, our buddy uh rostislav pro cop knocked that one out of the park for us So yeah, that's it. This is Simon's 1970 Chevelle project. This is the last time it'll be in one piece for a while, so. I know, yeah. The next couple weeks we'll get it in the shop, get it blown apart, get it blasted, make sure uh, you know everything we're working with is true, and that'll be it. We'll keep you guys updated as we go. So that's just a, a quick little video for the weekend. Um, we'll be back again next week. I'll have to wrangle Matt in and we'll go walk around the shop and kind of update you with more projects we have going on. Uh, like I said, it's been a while since we've done one. So we'll go ahead and get this one in, get it blown apart. We'll update you again next week and uh, show you the Daytona progress, the GTO progress and everything else we have going on. So thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you later.